So we are with the amazing Kreskin today and we have questions to ask him that hopefully will offer a lot of solutions and insight to people. So first, we have now dealt with the bombing in Syria. Can you talk about that a little? No, what you're I, saying? I, uh, to, be, to be honest with you, I'm not, uh, I'm not that, that greatly into uh, the political picture, but I think that the great uh, concern is going to be, I mean, we're talking about Russia and so forth, and uh, I have memories because of a strange experience in my life where I was Roy Clark at a music festival uh, when I was appearing in another part of the country. He had me at his home, and the lady was sitting next to me and didn't speak to me much. She said, once when we finished, when he finished, 18 people went home. It was a party for me because I was opening in that town. He said, well, she's from Russia. They plan to have you tour Russia, the first person in your field ever to tour since before Stalin took over. The bottom line, what's crazy about it is that uh, I never made it to Russia because just a few days before, the Iron Curtain came down and there was chaos. And here are people I knew in CBS who were stuck in small towns, never didn't get home for weeks. And uh, But I don't think that the major concern is going to be Russia. I think it's going to be China. I mean, very seriously, it's China. And I'm not telling people not to go to other areas. I mean, I, I, as, as you've heard me say in my performances, I've flown over three and a half million miles. Right now, though, right now, I would not, in a way, buy strongly. I, I mean this sincerely, and I'm not against countries. I don't think anybody sh should go to Egypt. Right. Under any circumstances right now, I will not perform there. To, and I love to perform all over the world. Now, I, right now, one of the things that's finally coming out is all about Planet X, or Nibiru. How much do we need to worry about this? I don't think so. I don't think right now. I understand what you're saying, and I've, I've been, I'm asked this frequently. I really don't think this is the real, realism in the near future or the fairly distant future. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. We are, our culture is in a chaotic situation right now. That doesn't mean we should give up. I have a feeling that, uh, and this is gonna sound crazy, but maybe uh, if some of the government were replaced, uh, I'm talking about local and, and national and so forth, by some, young, young, some younger people coming into the picture who are mature, really mature, I think we need a thirst of refreshing outlook on the situations. Even though it's not gonna, there's no instant cure. No, I can't, I, I cannot perform to one person, can't point to one person and say, this is going to be the answer. No, it's going to take time. But you know something, and I say this to young people because I do a lot of university shows, I will hire someone who's learned from their mistakes and failures and risen above it because they are the successes. If you read the history, the life of entrepreneurs, they all rose above failures. I'll hire them. And a person who has millions of, or a lot of money and is able to avoid mistakes because this has given them and so forth. That's not what life is all about. And I don't, and I'm not begrudging anything, but and my, my folks, uh, my father's side came from Sicily. Uh, my mother, uh, my mother's side came, my, my grandmother was a chef in royal, for royalty, came to this country. What meals I had Sunday after masses. <laughs> my father's side is from Poland. And they did not come into this country expecting an entitlement. They just expected to bust their ass and make it work. And that's what this country is built on. And by the way, in show business, let me give a piece of advice because I, I meet all the time people who are interested in going to show business and so forth. Uh, forget about the minimum salary. You may have to work for nothing to prove yourself. I was getting big money when I was performing professionally at 11, 12, 13, 14, five dollars a show. Yay! That but, was a lot know, back then. That was a lot back, but it was getting it and proving yourself. That's that's what show business is all about. And you know something? And Bob Hope said to me, he never heard it so honestly said. Here I'm about to say, this is the first time I've ever said it publicly, but Bob Hope used to say when I was out with some people, he said, tell them the facts of it. If you, looking in at me now, have talent, you have a great potential of talent. You have a style that may stand out. Whatever you do, you'll, you'll work hard as can be for. And if you take advantage of every opportunity you have, and 
not worry about the money, but keep proving yourself and proving yourself. Believe in yourself and work as hard as you can. And you have great talent. You have a minuscule chance of ever making in show business. But as Hope said, and every show person I know says, Kreskin, we all know this, but those of us who love this field are going to work to try to overcome and win our way. That's the fact. You want to look at the facts of life and then still move on? That's great. Okay, so right now... I didn't mean to talk so much. No, about no, no, that's okay. <laughs> I, I, mean, I didn't even mean to talk about this. <laughs> you know, I, she, can, she might be recording this. i got to be concerned, folks, because she may be getting stuff out of me that I didn't plan to say. <laughs> I didn't know that I was a mentalist. <laughs> What is the difference between a mentalist and Psychic. uh huh? I, I I've made it very clear in my life because I'm not a I'm not a fortune teller. I don't really I, even though I've made dramatic predictions, it's be, become the, the way my predictions have been made, and I will explain this right now is that I'm traveling constantly, constantly. There's very few days I have off, and I listen to my audience. I don't mean that I ask them who they're going to vote for, or I say. What do you plan to do here? I, I'm not an intrusive person, but when, when uh, as election time is coming along, I'll sometimes say to the audience, you know, I wonder if you folks are going to vote for Hillary Clinton, or you're going to vote for Donald Trump, or what have you. You're going to vote. Some of you going to vote for Clinton, and I'll vote. Some of you going to vote for Trump. I go right on with the show, but I listen. What I hear at that moment, because what people don't say is what they really plan to do, not what they say when they're being interviewed with a microphone. Oh, absolutely.